Welcome back to the Harry Potter and the Flosses Stone on the PS2 100% walkthrough. This is part 21 and this part we're starting the Floss 9 mission and also the finale. I knew it! I knew it! I never thought to look in here. I got this out of the library weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is right! Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The what? Oh, honestly, don't you do read? Of course. Here it is. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone is a legendary substance with astonishing powers. It'll transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drinker immortal. Immortal? It means you never die. The only stone currently in existence belongs to Mr. Nicholas Flamel, the noted alchemist who last year celebrated his 665th birthday. No wonder we couldn't find Flamel in that A study of recent developments in wizardry book. He's not exactly recent if he's 665, is he? That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. That's what's under the trap door. The Philosopher's Stone. Come on, Harry, we've got to stop Snape. A stone that makes gold and stops you from ever dying. No wonder Snape's after it. Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants the stone for Voldemort. With the elixir of life, Voldemort will be strong again. He'll... he'll come back. What do we do? We go down the trap door, tonight. Well, if that's what it's going to take, follow me to the third floor. So now the finale is really just starting. Really and yeah, we're going to return the wizard hat out, to I this girl really and we're getting a wizard card. And that is also the last, last item, and um, returned. And so kid. we're done with last items now. And we get another like health um, barometer um, thing. We get more health for doing that. And we're going to go to Fred and George's shop first because this is the last night mission and also the last time you can go to Fred and George's shop because you can only buy things there at night. Hey. And I've said this before, if you go there a day, the shop will all Pig will snack. be filled with beans and you won't be able to buy anything, just collect beans. So we're going to go there and we're going to use up our Every flavor beans actually. There's not too much to buy. We're going to buy the stink pellets for 20 beans. Almost at pounds actually. So there we got that. And um, there's not really anything else to buy. So we're going to go in the, into this chest that gives you random things three times. We get dung bombs. dung bombs, we get another dung bombs, more dung bombs, and the last time we're going into it, we sting get pellets. sting pellets, which we actually just bought, so that is a bit strange. So the sting pellets you can use to escape from prefects, and I believe you can also use the dung bombs for that as well. So they are quite useful, but we're not really going to stay away from any prefects. Except Percy. But we're not going to go to Friend George's shop anymore, I don't think. So we're going to go out of the Gryffindor Tower now. And we're going to make our way to the third floor. Because we have to stop Snape from getting the Fluffs of Stone. Because he wants to get it for Voldemort. And as you heard and from the cutscene... The Fluffs of Stone will make any metal into pure gold, and it also produces the Elixir of Life. Which, of course, makes you imm immortal. So we have to go to the third floor and stop Snape. I'm not going to include the entirety of um, the whole finale in this part. This is only going to be um, everything before the final battle, kind of, the boss battle. So that is what's going to be happening in this part. So now we're going into the Forbidden Corridor. 
And I'm going to use this door as well because we're going to go to Fluffy. Because we have to go through the tap through the trap door. And here is the door that leads into Fluffy. So I'll talk more after the cutscene that is coming up now. Wait a minute. He's snoring. Look, it's obvious Snape's already got past Fluffy. If you two want to go back, don't be stupid. We're coming. Right then, I'll go first. Don't follow until I give a sign. If something bad happens, get yourselves out. Does it seem a bit quiet to you? Yuck! What's this ruddy stuff? What's this stuff? Dunno. I suppose it's here to break the fall. Lucky it's here, really. Lucky? Ron! Ron, where are you? Over here, Harry! Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue you. Just hold on. I know what this is. It's Devil's Snare. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. Shut up. I'm trying to remember how to kill it. Well, hurry up! I can't breathe! Devil's snare, devil's snare. What did Professor Sprout say? Dances in the dark, delights in the damp. Yes, of course! You have to cast Defindo to get rid of the tentacles and then use Incendio. Harry, you take that side and I'll take this side. So now we're going to battle against the Devil's Snare. So this is the thing I said about the Venomous Tentacular. This isn't a Venomous Tentacular, it's the Devil's Snare. But you defeat it the same way that you defeat the Venomous Tentacular. And every time you do that, it will grow out tentacles again. The arms, which it looks like. And I'm sorry about all of the background noise. It's, as I've said before, it's building men outside doing things on the road. So yeah, it looks exactly like a venomous tentacle as well. So that is why I said that. And as I said, you defeat it the same way. Now I actually think this is quite fun actually. I really like this because you do battle the devil's near in the other Harry Potter Falls of Stone games. But I think it's more exciting in this one, even though you have done the exact thing against other monsters before. But I still think it's quite exciting. And I used to love this part when I was younger. And I got hit as well, so that's good. Thankfully I read Potion. Yeah, I, loved, I used to like this part with the Venomous Attack a lot when I was younger. But yeah, we're going to kill the Venomous Ten... No, not the Venomous Tentacular. The Devil's Snare now. And free Ron from his imprisonment. Appreciated. Oh, it was nothing. Lucky you pay attention in herbology, Hermione. Oh, that is so cute. I really like the relationship between Harry, no, no, Ron and Hermione. I like that. But now we're going to move on in these challenges. Curious. I've never seen birds like these. 
They're not birds. They're keys. And I'll bet one of them fits that door. Alohomora! Well, it was worth a try. Oh, what are we going to do? There are hundreds of them. We're looking for a big old-fashioned one. Probably gold. Like the handle. There, I see it. The one with the bright blue wings. So, as you can see, Harry is now going after the key and you have to get it. So, it's the same thing as Quidditch. You just have to go through all these rings and as I said before, I'm quite bad at Quidditch so don't do too well in this. And be careful with the keys that is behind Harry because they will actually hurt him. And another thing I want to say, I really love the how it looks here where Harry is flying. I really love how it looks. I think it's so beautiful. I really love it. I like, like, um, I really like underground um, stone buildings and stuff like that. Like these. And now we've catched the key, so give it to Hermione. I remember that scene from Harry Potter and the Harry Potter and Dawson Stone movie. I used to what, laugh like a lot when that happens with the keys and they went straight into the door. Just thought I'd share that with you. And this game goes quite closely to the movie so it's still a little bit funny. But moving on to the next challenge. Where's Ron? He went on ahead. It's a chess challenge. He's better at chess than both of us. He should have waited. We're in this together. Let's go in, Harry. We need to make sure Ron's okay. Oh, no! Ron! What if he's... He'll be all right. What do you think he's trying to do before he... I think we've got to destroy all the white pieces. I'll go. Be careful, Harry! Now what do I do? Looks like you're playing black. Step up to the Black Knight, Harry. I'm sure you can always change your mind and move a different piece. Then, when you're sure of which piece you want to move and to which square, you make your move. Okay, I'll give it a go. So now we come to the chess challenge. This is maybe the hardest part. Well, it definitely is the hardest part of these challenges. It, as you know, is a chess piece. So it kind of is like chess. It's not entirely like the chess. It doesn't follow every rule, of course. But it does have a resemblance to chess, but of course it, it does. But um, yeah, I find this actually pretty hard. <laughs> no, it's not that hard. But this time, when I played it, this time, when I was recording, I found it quite hard because I haven't played this game in quite a while. But after some practice, you will be able to do it. And if you go on the internet, you can search up um, Root and how you can do it. So if you go on those pieces, you will be able to complete it without any um, any trouble. But I didn't do that. So I didn't go on the internet and search up how I was going to do this easily. So it took me some time. It only took me one try though. I didn't die. But I came close to dying, but I didn't, because I saved myself, and yeah, I just went on ahead and did what I had to do and tried to do my best, and I actually succeeded in the end. 
that is a little bit of a spoiler, but not really, because, um, of course I'm going to win, because I've played this before, and that sounded really selfish. But yeah, I'll be able to do it. And, if you read the book, you know that each of these challenges represent one of the professor's challenge, so each challenge is designed by a professor. This chess challenge is Professor McGonagall's challenge. Um, Fluffy is ha Hagrid's, but he's not really a professor, but it's Hagrid's. And Professor Sprout has the Devil's Nair, the Flying Keys, belongs to Nine, Professor Flipway. And the Troll, it isn't in this game, but you do encounter a Troll, which has already been hurt and you're not going to fight against it. It is in Fluffs of Stone on PlayStation 1. It is, and it is in the book. Yeah, but it is in this game. So that is Professor Quirrell, Professor Quirrell's challenge. And also the challenge that is after this chess piece, which is a potion thing that is of course, Professor Snape's challenge, and that challenge is not in this game, but I just thought I'd go through that, because some of you might n not know, but if you read the books, or read the book, you do know. Just thought I'd share that little information hey, with you all. But, yeah, this is a bit hard. I remember in Flaws of Stone on PlayStation 1, which I do have a Let's Play walkthrough of on this channel. So if you want to see that, go and see that. But I remember in that game, this chess piece actually has three stages. Now I'm quite happy that this chess piece in this game doesn't have three stages because then I would have some trouble. I'm not the best at chess. I'm not the chess master of the world, Magnus Carlsen, which is, who is also from Norway, but whatever, let's not talk about him. So I do have some trouble. And I really, and something that I really like about this chess piece is that Harry actually yells out um, which piece goes to which place. For example, nine to f3 or whatever. So. I really do like that because that tells you how, no not how, but who does things and how it goes. And I really do like that. And this chess piece is also one of the most iconic scenes from the Harry Potter universe. Not only from the books or the movies, but the entire thing. It is very iconic. But it does look like we will be able to do this, so Harry will take... Harry's knight will take this chess piece. And they will move against Harry like that. So we'll have to get this piece, the pawn, to move against it. To try and make one of them move against the pawn and one of them against Harry. So they, they will split. If you understand why because then they will go separate ways and we'll be able to do this but they didn't go separate ways this time so it didn't work out so I just had the pawn take out that one and then I moved Harry there and then if I remember correctly the white piece no, it took out the pawn. So I lost all of my pieces except Harry, but now Harry will be able to take out Nine, the last two, chess piece. Three. And that is actually everything for this part. You will put, don't quit the video yet. There is a cutscene after this, so see you guys in the next part for the finale of the game. See you then. Sure he'll be alright. Listen, 
We've got to get him to the hospital, Wynn. Then go straight to the Owlery and send Hedwig to Dumbledore. I might be able to hold off Snape for a while, but I'm no match for him, really. You're a great wizard, Harry Potter. You are, you know. I'm not as good as you are. Me? Books and cleverness? There are more important things. Friendship and bravery and... Oh, Harry, be careful!